In this video we will review the scatter plot from the eCharts extension. To play with in this dashboard you can go to new, load examples, eCharts, widget example. Let's first review how it uh, works and then uh, let's replicate it. So the, the scatter plot is really similar to a line chart but instead of, uh, of the series being lines it's uh, a set of shapes in the x and y axis let's go to design we can see here the configuration uh, for the value we set the amount which will be the y axis in the chart the label in this case is a timestamp because the x axis is time the series is uh, the category food uh, electronics uh, sports and stuff like that and the size is the size of the shape which is something uh, extra that you have to add to the scatter plot uh, that uh, makes it a little bit different from the light chart but it's not that different so let's go and try to replicate it we will click new scatter example we will need the eCharts extension go to design we will use the sample event source a transformer and the widget itself We will select the scatter option. The type will be time because we will be passing uh, the the timestamp uh, for the label. We can make this smaller so that it's more readable. We can we have many settings similar to the line chart, but we will leave them as default. So now we go to node template, data view, each base, each chart basic. We copy this, and for scatter we need the size. Uh, we can put the 5 here or generate a random value the value will be amount the label will be name and the category will be continent and it will start oh, I forgot label is uh, actually timestamp because we said that the type was time and series will be name I will clean this so now we have the shapes all with size 5 and the dates on the x-axis let's make the, the size a little bit more random let's go to math random integer from 3 to 10 And now we have shapes of different sizes. So this is the scatter plot. It's really similar to line chart. The only difference is that you have to specify the size uh, field also. You can set it to a fixed size, but it's useful if, if uh, you have an extra dimension you want to show on the chart. And uh, if you have any questions, just comment on the YouTube section of this video or contact us over Twitter, Facebook or via email.